little artist, welcome back. Today, we are gonna continue our Harry Potter series where we're drawing or making um, characters from Harry, Harry Potter. So today, we're gonna make, we've already drawn Hedwig earlier, and now we're gonna make a fun little Hedwig puppet. I don't know if you can see him, but uh, this is super easy and fun to make. This is what you need to make. All right, you're gonna need a paper plate. And if you don't have a paper plate, no worries. You can take a piece of cardstock or a cereal box and then take a round circle template. So you could use a plate from your cupboard or a small bowl, and you're gonna trace it on a piece of cardstock or a card piece of cardboard. You could use a cereal box if you wanted to. And then you're gonna cut that in half. You just need something kind of stiff. It doesn't have to be a paper plate, all right? Then you need a straw or a popsicle stick, or you could find a stick outside if you wanted to. And that will be the little handle you use to hold your Hedwig puppet. And then on the back, you need some tape or glue to tape your straw or handle, whatever you're using for that, to the back, all right? Then you need yellow or black, yellow and black crayons, markers, or colored pencils. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, so I have my paper plate here, and I'm going to cut this paper plate in half. If you have a, if you're using cardstock or a piece of cardboard, you will just fold it in half, just like I'm doing this paper plate, okay? And I'm gonna crease it to mark where my half is, okay? Then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut it in half, just like this, all right? So here's my half piece. This flat piece is going to be the top part of my Hedwig puppet. See, here we go. And this bottom piece is going to be, this round piece is going to be the bottom of my Hedwig puppet. So I'm going to take a yellow marker color crayon or color pencil, and I'm going to draw a flat line, a straight line. Okay, I don't know if you can see that just like that. Okay, so I did about halfway in the middle. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw an arch coming down like this, okay, on my puppet. Okay, and these are gonna be the eyes. Then I'm gonna color this in all yellow, okay, with a yellow color pencil, crown, or marker. Okay, so I'm coloring it completely in that whole half a circle there, okay? Once I'm done, I'm going to get a black marker, okay? And I'm going to draw two big circles in the middle of my yellow half circles, okay? So right here... Okay, looky there, there's my black circles and I'm gonna color these in. I'm gonna leave little circles in the middle there for the reflection. Okay, and I'm gonna color this all in black. Okay, once I've colored in all my circles black, I'm then going to draw a diamond shape for my nose, okay? And you can also leave a small little rectangle of white for the reflection on the little beak, okay? I call it a nose, but it's actually a beak. And then at the bottom, I'm gonna kind of make it kind of curved at the bottom because that's kind of how owls owl beaks are. And then right here around my eyes, I'm just going to do dashes, okay, a, or a dotted line right around, okay, for around the owl's eyes. And then right here, I'm going to do like a little wavy line. 
And how you do that is you do lots of little U's together, or if you want to call those um, rainbow lines. And then off to the side, I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. And it's kind of hard because the paper plate's kind of bumpy, but there's no right or wrong place. You're just kind of filling it in to make it look like these are little wings, little feathers, I guess I should say. Okay, so there you go. There is your owl is complete. Now you're going to take a straw, a popsicle stick, or if you don't have any of those, you could use just a stick outside. That would be fine and it would kind of go, owls live in trees, it would kind of go along with the owl theme. Then I'm gonna turn my plate over. I'm gonna place my, whatever my stick is, whatever my um, holder is, whether it be a straw or popsicle stick, I'm gonna put it in the middle and then I'm gonna tape it down. Or if you choose to, you could glue it down. Now, here is my nifty little Hedwig puppet. So let me show you what that would look like. Here you go, all right guys? And if you make more than one, he can have a little friend and you can have a little skit. All right, guys, have fun making these. If you choose to, you can, um, I'd love to see your headwigs. You could take a picture and post it for me to see. All right, guys, keep creating. And remember, if you make a mistake, make it a happy accident. All right, guys, see you soon.